Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. For a woman who's been in the hospital being induced for a day and a half now, you voluptuous, beautiful <laughs> locks. <laughs> um, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. We have Halloween socks on. <laughs> we'll show them. I cannot do that right now. <laughs> Sarah's wearing better ones. I'll show them to you right now. Look at those Halloween socks. Goblins and ghouls. From last Halloween. <laughs> For maybe a Halloween baby. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's only 9.15 in the morning, so he's got plenty of time to arrive on Halloween. <laughs> We're moving rooms now. Ready to go to labor and delivery. The room is ready. We just got packed up and Sarah's just got a little snack to snack. We're looking good. We got our labor and delivery room. So now we're on the second floor. And we got, here's Sarah, she's on the ball. We're waiting for anesthesia to come talk about different options for um, pain. pain management. Um, there is a walking epidural and a standard epidural. Got TV, look at more beautiful room space. And also, look what they gave us. Cutest little pumpkin, little onesie. Um, we were talking to our new nurse about the procedure, how it's going to go, our skin on skin after birth before they do any, like they clean them off and everything, but it'll be our of mom and baby skin on skin. I'm going to show you the bathroom in a second. This bathroom's even better than the one upstairs. Sarah's done eating salads, liquids only from here on out, and we're going to get checked, I think, in like an hour and a half, potentially. Not checked, but like more medicine, maybe a Pitocin drip. Um, so with that happen, when, with that happening and anesthesia coming, we actually might start seeing some, some real substantial movements towards labor, because mm -hmm. Sarah's technically not in active labor yet. What is it when the water breaks? Yeah. So Sarah's water hasn't broken, so once her water breaks, she's in active labor, and that's when it's like, all right, mom, we're working towards birth, and this girl is gonna rock it. I want to show you the bathroom here. So when I went on my marathon run a couple weeks ago, that was actually Orange Avenue is right over there. There's the lake. When I pointed the camera this way during that marathon vlog, that's what it was. There's a different angle. There's the Orlando Health building. Oh, there's somebody on the roof over there. Um, but here is the bathroom. Full on, have a look. Um, nice bathroom, nice big windows. They're kind of weird in the bathroom, but I like it. Um, you can obviously close them. but standard bathroom stuff, but this is cool. Here at um, Winnie Palmer, every uh, labor and delivery room comes with a tub for the option of a tub birth. So that's nice, but really convenient and great. Guess what? I get to eat one more time. So Sarah ordered a salad, a soup, a sandwich, french fries, dessert, and a Coke. So I just definitely just ate the rest of the fig bar and the donut that I got for you because we thought you weren't allowed to eat. So I'm yeah. so sorry. Mm -hmm. So you can't eat once you're on the Pitocin, but I'm not on it yet. And so they just came in and were like, order one last Well, we're, you're about to be on it. So they were like, but we want you to eat first because yeah. you could still labor for another 24. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It's getting I, real. Did we say we moved on to the balloon? I don't think we, I don't think that. we said that this morning. Yeah, yeah so we didn't I got give an update. a balloon placed. Well, first of all, she slept so good. I slept from about like 10 to like 5? No, you slept in from 10 to 4.30. Okay. Um, so good sleep. We just woke up a couple times in the middle of the night. Baby was having a party and <laughs> his heart rate was up. But everything was fine after I got some fluids. Um, and then I got the balloon because I progressed enough, which is great. Um, so this will help me progress more, but it's another waiting game. Um, and I also got a little bit more medicine when they put the balloon in. So now that that's done, now I can start the And now she's more comfortable. Doesn't she look more yes. comfortable? Yes. She's beautiful. And the little, the little square over there is where our baby boy is going to go right after he's born to get washed up. Leave it. And then gets to hang out with you skin on skin for an hour. Mm hmm I'm just going to kiss his toes that whole time. <laughs> Our food 
has arrived. Oh my gosh, we got a lot. We might not finish it all. Um, but yeah, once I eat this, they're gonna put me on Pitocin. Everything looks super good. I will be able to walk around still once I'm on the Pitocin. I'll have the little IV carrier as well as my fluids um, and Frozen 2 is on, so we're gonna watch that. Eat this. And yeah, just wait and see how I react to this medicine. We got the Pitocin delivered to the room. We got the Pitocin delivered to the room. It's a big step. Huge step, it's right here. Bum, 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 bum. Pitocin, Oxycontin. Not Oxycontin, <laughs> Oxytocin. <laughs> so, we had a really good last dinner and everything. That was lunch. That was lunch? That was lunch. And then, things got exciting. <laughs> what happened, little lady? So, I ate, got up, went to the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, I was like, I think my water broke. And She called me in. <laughs> and my water broke. And your water broke. And yeah. then out of the blue, all of a sudden, our midwife was here. Mm -hmm. She was popping, like breaking the rest of the water, making sure the water was clear, making Checking sure you were dilated. Checking that all that good Took stuff. Took the balloon out. Um, have an epidural already and so like, here we, we are we had our, our big lunch which mm -hmm. was supposed to be the last solid meal before the uh, pitocin started mm -hmm. so and then all of a sudden pitocin going yeah uh, but it went from pitocin just to begin this process to broken water pitocin epidural <laughs> three to four centimeters let's get rock and rolling right so i'm um, so and sarah did so well during all of it during the Thanks. checks during the epidural during a water breaking. I got breaking. my little nervous shake going here and no, there. No, that's now we can. Not, the, the anesthesiologist said we can now use the excuse of it's not your nerves, it's the epidural that's causing yep. your shake. You're In right. reality, it is your nerves. A little bit of everything. But, but we're getting there. You are an absolute rock star. And our son has hair. Yes, hairy head. The midwife, when she was checking things out, she was like, yep, definitely got a hairy head. I'm so proud of you. And what better movie to have on on Halloween when you're in the middle of active labor? Hocus Pocus with fun facts on the screen on Freeform. We're changing James's name to Thackeray if he comes out before midnight. They got Sarah's Catherine, which was like the last piece of the puzzle that we were waiting for before, like just like waiting game. And I had a blanket, but our nurse didn't see that I had a blanket. She brought me a hospital blanket. Sarah, so feel this. It's um, toasted. I'm about to wrap myself up like a cocoon and fall yeah, I asleep. Think we can take naps. Yeah, I think we're. Got they, focus, focus on. they increased the Pitocin again. We're at five units an hour right now. We went from one to three to five, all between about 2.30, not even three, more like three, and now it's 4.40. Yeah. Um, but they're really trying to get the. She's at three situated. contractions in every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes. They want that to get those to be. You be, you you probably she said every two minutes. every two minutes. So you need to be like you need to double your contractions. Yeah. And then James I think James is moving around like crazy. He's like, what is going on? They probably won't check you again until closer to two to three minute contractions. Yeah. But she's feeling good and we're happy. Yeah, and we're gonna like the nurse said to take a rest because I'm gonna need energy to push. Um, so it's a good time. To nap. All right, five hours later, got like a two hour nap in, mm -hmm. about. We watched, we had Frozen 2 on, then we had Hocus Pocus on, then we had Singing in the Rain on. And now she's in this throne, this this bed turned mm -hmm. into a throne because, even though it's been five hours since her water broke, mm -hmm. you were between a three and a four, but now you're only at a four. Yes, So like the contractions are regular though. Yeah, contractions are regular at three minutes. We need those to be regular at two minutes. So it's like, you're, you, I feel like you, progressed in a few different things mm -hmm. a little bit rather than progressing like in one thing like dilate like dilated right. in a lot we're using some gravity and then we're gonna get a so bean high. we're gonna get a bean a peanut peanut i kept talking i bean. kept texting your sisters and your mom about beans so <laughs> oops so we're gonna get a peanut balloon and then get peanut you ball. peanut ball and get you going with some crazy positions yeah. so because he's still pretty high so even though she's a solid four centimeters dilated Baby's still pretty high, and it's seven o'clock. 
It's photo finish or this is a Christmas baby. It really is. Or a Halloween baby. Mm -hmm. And whoever put a comment online, Sarah just saw that James has reached peak hoodoo voodoo because the blue moon on Halloween it was probably the best comment I've made. And that is the only thing that's making me lean towards I actually hope he's worn before midnight yeah. rather than after midnight. All right, I got a coffee and some sushi and a sandwich. Gonna hang out in the atrium here. Um, so I'm not eating in front of Sarah, but I needed to get some food and some caffeine. But really good deal. Sarah's feeling good. She's gonna take a nap after some Benadryl. Um, actually, with the Pitocin getting increased, what can happen is Sarah's blood pressure can decrease. And when Sarah's blood pressure decreases, uh, James's heart rate will drop. So then they actually had to give her some supplement of oxygen, which was totally to be expected. A little bit of that, like five minutes on that, and they're good to go. Um, which is another reason why they put in they put in this cool sensor that doesn't say how often it it doesn't the sensor we've had tells how often the contractions happen but not the intensity whereas this new sensor says the intensity of it and I love it because I can look at this graph in real time and it's I'm like doing calculus in my head it's all these polynomial equations of these like contractions happening and we need that the doctors need that to figure out how much pitocin they give her to get those to be the right frequency and the right strength to really get the ball rolling but she's almost she's a solid four dilation right now they could stretch to five um but he's started to move down so that that peanut ball that they got her is really working so it's looking like he may not be a halloween baby he may be a november 1st christmas baby or thanksgiving baby um but it's still, I think it's going to be by sunrise. That's what I think. But I'm going to eat and get back up there because I don't want to be away from Sarah too long, even if she's sleeping. All right, so I've been back in the room for a while. Um, James and Sarah are doing really good. Contractions are way more frequent, which is great. We just need them to get more of an oomph. Pitocin is up to 17 units an hour. Sarah's still feeling good. It's just about quarter to 12. And so it doesn't look like, <laughs> current rate, it doesn't look like we're going to be going to be pushing anytime soon. So just in case, I'm, we're going to sign off now, just so when Sarah gets some sleep, I might edit the vlog um, so we can start fresh tomorrow, just so it's not like a super long one, because we want to share all this story yeah. with you guys and for us to have for future so we can show James this. And we also can't have, like, if he's born after midnight, yeah. You can't have the vlog say October 31st and him be in it. Because then is he a Christmas baby? No. He would, his identity would be confused. Yeah. So. Um, but I feel really good. Starting to feel some pressure, which the epidural doesn't take away. Like, you feel the ability It to takes push. away the pain, but she keeps the pressure. Yeah. So she can push that baby out. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, tomorrow. And we're doing all different, like, um... Positions. Positions with the peanut ball. Yeah. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. And I have more confidence than ever before that we will welcome James home. Yes. Or James to our arms tomorrow. You guys have been so kind in the comments and well wishes and on Facebook and Instagram. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You've been keeping us company. It's nice to go check the comments or messengers on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube. To kind of like in our slower moments of like okay the doctor's gonna leave and come back in three hours to check on you it's like because we're going on our third day here yeah we've hit like six or we've hit like 50 something hours 53rd we're on a 53rd or 54th hour in the hospital so it's good to be home goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.